You know, for how often this thing gets reprinted, you think it'd be easier for me to get my hands on one. Hello and welcome back to another Gunpla review. Today we're taking a look at the high grade Universal Century Garadoga. Alright, and starting off as always with the articulation. The head's on a ball joint as well as a hinge. You can move up that far down decently. <laughs> can do a full 360. And also the mono eye is on a track, though uh, good luck actually being able to turn it. It's pretty deep set in there and this head is not coming off. The shoulders are on a forward hinge. And unfortunately, just due to the actual design of the shoulders, you don't get a ton of movement outwards there, but can easily get a full rotation. Rotation at the bicep, single jointed elbow for over 90 degrees, and the hands, as always, are on a ball joint. Waist is ball jointed, though uh, just due to how bulky everything is, you're not getting a ton of movement out of there. That said, pretty good rotation. Front skirt are ball jointed, side skirt, move up, back skirt, solid. Hips are on a side to side rocking joint as well as ball joints, 45 degrees out to the side, pretty good rotation, can get a pretty high kick and can go back as far as the back skirt allows, double jointed knee for just over 90 degrees, and the ankles aren't crazy, you do get a pretty good tilt to the side, but uh, they're really bulky so you're not getting a ton of movement out of them. So overall it's hard to say that the articulation is bad, it's just that the suit is really bulky and so that limits its range. And as for the accessories, let's start off with the sticker sheet, and by extension, color correction. You get a mono Y sticker, as well as a sticker for the, as well as a sticker for the shield. However, that sticker sheet is misleading because you actually have to paint pretty much all the yellow on this. All of the verniers need yellow paint, and then the hoses need to be painted. Uh, these ones are color separated, but it's like a weird mustardy yellow and it doesn't quite look right, so I painted all of them. However, these ones on the leg and in the knee need to be painted because they're part of the gunmetal plastic, so you might as well paint these ones anyway. Aside from that though, it's just red in these for the cameras, red on the end of the barrel here, though uh, technically this is supposed to be like a lighter gray, but honestly the gunmetal that it comes in looks better anyway, and that aforementioned sticker on the shield. Now, getting into the accessories proper, hands. You get two holding hands and a trigger finger hand. Just know where to store this rifle so there's no reason to ever take it off, but, you know, dedicated trigger finger hand. And you get a collapsed VMAX on the back skirt, which is removable, by the way. However, you get an extent. However, you get an extended version, which comes with both the axe and spike versions of the beam. Didn't really expect that, but hey, I'll take it. Getting into the beam machine gun in a bit more detail, you have a movable secondary handle, as well as an extendable stock, which is a very strange choice. It looks fine, works fine, it's just you wouldn't expect to see that on a beam weapon. Finally, you do get the shield, which has a working hinge, as well as four storm fests on the inside. And yes, these are color separated. And finally you get one option part, which is the commander fin version of the head, which is literally just the top of the head, but with a hole for the commander fin. Not much more to say there. And as for a size comparison, the Doga isn't super tall, but it is really bulky. This is a very, very chunky suit. So to wrap up this review, the Doga's solid. Requires a bit of painting, but I mean, if you get the right yellow, that's not a problem. But the articulation's great, the part separation's solid enough, comes with all the accessories you'd want, and honestly is just a really good design. This thing absolutely nails the look of the Doga, it's pretty much one-to-one -one with the line art. Honestly, I think this is better than the 1-100 versions. <sighs> Granted, you're probably more likely to actually get one of the 1-100 versions at this point, but... Yeah, if you can get your hands on the high grade, I fully recommend getting it. Anyway, that's all for this review. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, helps a lot. Subscribe and hit the bell for future reviews. Go follow me on Twitter for updates. And consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep making reviews just like this one. And as always, until next time, happy building.